So this week we lost composer and frequent David Lynch collaborator Angelo Badalamenti. The whole Twin Peaks and film community is really feeling it because he was so deeply involved with a lot of beloved movies and uh, he had a very distinct personality that proved to be pretty influential to the last few decades of like movie soundtracks and TV soundtracks. Now, of course, earlier this year, we also lost Vangelis, who's primarily known for his uh, synth scores from the 80s and 90s, as well as a lot of prog rock and art rock. And I'm sitting here just only now realizing that shit (laughs) that happened the same year, that's pretty rough. But to draw a bit more positivity out of it, I also remembered that when I was working on a short film with my Kickback Boys, it was one of several 48-hour films we did. It's a bit of a neo-noir called Stash. On that one, I was primarily the editor and the composer. In fact, before I had any usable footage to work with, I actually sat with the very phone that I'm recording this with right now, with my trusty iOS version of GarageBand. And I was banging out some, you know, little jingles, some stings. At that time, me and my partner were like neck deep in Twin Peaks and we were in love with it. Like just the autumnal vibe, the surrealism, just how like eerie and mismatched a lot of the aesthetics were when it came to the music and the visuals. Between that and also being a huge fan of the Blade Runner soundtrack, which was fresh in my mind because of 2049 having just come out not long before that, both of those kind of stepped their way into what I was working on. So in honor of Angelo and Vangelis, I would like to take the track that's most clearly influenced by both of them in equal measure. It's called Neon Snowcap. I'll whip up some visuals for that and post it here. And I retroactively dedicate it to both of them. They will be missed. They will not be forgotten. I will definitely continue to listen to their music. Rest in peace, maestros.